Ever heard of synthetic biology? Let us give you a quick intro. Each living organism has an instruction manual that determines how it looks and how it behaves, encoded into a string of letters called DNA. Researchers have discovered how to build their own DNA sequences and use this ability to program organisms to do incredible things. The ITEM Foundation has organized a yearly competition to give a chance for students to design and carry out creative new ideas, like a sticker that indicates the actual expiration date of meat and reduces food waste, or bacteria that identifies polluted water and helps clean it up as well, or a beer made out of synthetic yeast that produces four different vitamins, and hundreds of more ideas. So, what's the catch? Why aren't we using these amazing products all the time? Well, engineered bacteria have only been around for about three decades. What if we don't know enough about them? How can we be completely sure that there are no risks or long-term effects? This is where we come in, the iGEM team of Ben Gurion University. We are creating a self-destruct mechanism that can be added to any existing biological product to make sure that it stays under control. In other words, you set up the timer, and when the time is up, the bacteria disappears without a trace. How are we planning to do this? We are designing two different products. In the first, we take a bacteria and add two new elements to it. One is bad, a gene that constantly produces a poison, and one is good, a protective protein produced only in the lab. As long as there's enough protein, the bacteria is safe from the poison. So let's say Mr. Bacteria leaves the lab all stocked up on good protein. As he reproduces, the new generations are left with less and less protein each. At a certain point, there's not enough protein left to protect them, and the whole population dies and dissolves. For our second strategy, you can think of bacteria as intricate machines that run on 20 types of fuels found in nature called amino acids. We are creating in the lab fuel number 21 and changing the bacteria machine so that it can't run without this new fuel. When the bacteria are released in nature, they will no longer find a supply of fuel 21. After a predictable amount of time, just like any other machine we can think of, the bacteria too will break down and no longer live. Now that you saw our idea and why we think it's important, there are a few more things we would like to say. And you know what? Let's do this in person. The 2013 Ben Gurion University iGym team consists of 12 outstanding undergrad students from nine different departments. We wish to design our innovative products to be user-friendly, simple, and safe. They will also be free and open source. Besides the biological product, we also wish to provide a full wraparound, including mathematical models, a simple software tool, ecological and ethical insights. Our efforts are towards creating generic tools and products for the use of any living biological enterprise that requires control and safety. We believe that by using our product, the uncertainty of using bacteria will decrease and a new world of option will open up for mankind. If you want to see our complex project become reality, you can help us raise the needed funds. Please support us.